In 2001, however, the Pontifical Biblical Commission released a book entitled, quote, The Jewish People and Their Sacred Scriptures in the Christian Bible. This book rejects the dogma that the Old Covenant has ceased. It teaches that the Old Covenant is still valid and that the Jews wait for the coming of the Messiah, which was part of the Old Covenant, is also still valid. It teaches that Jesus does not have to be seen as the prophesied Messiah. It is possible to see him as the Jews do, as not the Messiah and not the Son of God. In section 2A5, the book states, quote, Jewish messianic expectation is not in vain. In section 2A7, it states, quote, To read the Bible as Judaism does necessarily involves an implicit acceptance of all its presuppositions, which exclude faith in Jesus as Messiah and Son of God. Christians can and ought to admit that the Jewish reading of the Bible is a possible one. So according to this Vatican book, Christians can and ought to admit that the Jewish position that Jesus is not the Son of God and the prophesied Messiah is a possible one. This is Antichrist. 1 John 2 verse 22, quote, He who denieth that Jesus is the Christ, he is Antichrist. The preface for this totally heretical book was written by none other than Joseph Ratzinger, the now Benedict XVI. Heresy is a rejection of a dogma of the Catholic faith, while apostasy is a rejection of the entire Christian faith. This book contains both heresy and apostasy, fully endorsed by Benedict XVI. And Benedict XVI teaches the same denial of Jesus Christ in a number of his books. Benedict XVI, God in the World, 2000, page 209, quote, It is of course possible to read the Old Testament so that it is not directed toward Christ. It does not point unequivocally to Christ. And if Jews cannot see the promises as being fulfilled in him, this is not just ill will on their part, but genuinely because of the obscurity of the text. There are perfectly good reasons then for denying that the Old Testament refers to Christ and for saying, no, that is not what he said. And there are also good reasons for referring it to him. That is what the dispute between Jews and Christians is about. Benedict XVI says that there are perfectly good reasons for not believing that the Old Testament refers to Christ as the prophesied Messiah. He says that the Old Testament doesn't point unequivocally to our Lord as the Messiah. Benedict XVI just denied the entire Christian faith again. What makes this apostasy all the more outrageous is the fact that the New Testament is filled with passages which declare that our Lord is the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy. To quote just one passage of many, our Lord specifically tells the Jews, that what is written in the Old Testament concerning him will convict them. John chapter 5, verses 39, 45 through 47, quote, Search the scriptures, for you think in them to have life everlasting, and the same are they that give testimony of me. There is one that accuseth you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you did believe Moses, you would perhaps believe me also, for he wrote of me. But according to the apostate Benedict XVI, all these biblical declarations, including our Lord's own words, may be false. According to him, the Jewish reading that our Lord is not the Messiah, not the Son of God, and not foretold in the Old Testament, is possible and valid. Nothing could be more heretical apostate or antichrist. Benedict XVI also denies Jesus Christ in his book Milestones. Benedict the Sixteenth Milestones, 1998, pages 53 and 54, quote, I have evermore come to the realization that Judaism and the Christian faith described in the New Testament are two ways of appropriating Israel's scriptures, two ways that in the end are both determined by the position one assumes with regard to the figure of Jesus of Nazareth. The scripture we today call Old Testament is in itself open to both ways. Benedict XVI again declares that Scripture is open to holding the Jewish view of Jesus, that Jesus is not the Son of God. And this is why Benedict XVI repeatedly teaches the heresy that Jews don't need to believe in Christ for salvation. Benedict XVI, God in the World, 2000, pages 150 and 151, quote, 
there the jews no to christ brings the israelis into conflict with the subsequent acts of god but at the same time we know that they are assured of the faithfulness of god they are not excluded from salvation this is a total rejection of catholic dogma and this is why on august nineteenth two thousand and five a friday at noon the same day and hour that jesus was crucified Benedict the sixteenth arrived at the jewish synagogue in cologne germany and took active part in a jewish worship service to take active part in non-catholic worship is a sin against the divine law and the first commandment as was always taught before vatican ii in taking part in a jewish worship service Benedict the sixteenth committed a public act of apostasy at the synagogue Benedict the sixteenth was seated prominently near the front the synagogue was packed with jews who were in there to see him benedict the sixteenth was not only an integral part of the jewish worship service he was its main feature this is without any doubt active participation in the jewish religion very close to benedict the sixteenth the cantor of the synagogue prayed and sang jewish prayers at the top of his lungs Benedict made gestures such as bowing his head and clapping his hands to show his approval and participation in the Jewish service. He joined the Jews in the Kaddish prayer, and Yiddish music blared in the background. When Benedict the Sixteenth rose to speak and eventually to pray in the synagogue, the entire synagogue rose to its feet and applauded him, applauded him for his acceptance of their religion. Everyone on earth who saw this event knows that it had one meaning, Benedict the sixteenth has no problem with Jews who reject Jesus Christ, and they have no obligation to accept Jesus Christ to be saved. Benedict the sixteenth teaches that Jews can be saved, that the old covenant is valid, and that Jesus Christ is not necessarily the Messiah. He is a bold heretic against the gospel and the Catholic faith.